The following presentation was recorded at the NDS Public Conference in May 2022. So this is about NDS Roadmap. And uh, let, let me introduce myself again. So in this role, I'm the uh, NDS Product Manager. So that's my, my second role. Um, I'm the subcontractor of the NDS Association to, to facilitate the discussion with the uh, product definition group and work on, on the product strategy and on the roadmap. So what is, what is the roadmap? Why we are talking about roadmap? So roadmap is the high level representation of the product strategy over time and where we are planning to go. Without roadmap, we can do, do development by, uh, for our own, but, but without plan, we, we don't know where we would like to go. So that's why it's important to have a product strategy and, uh, and uh, how we, we elaborate this product strategy over time. The product strategy is required to realize the NDS vision that was presented by um, Martin. And um, in the product strategy, uh, so in, in the NDS association, there is a so-called product definition group that consists of, of uh, uh, volunteered uh, NDS members who are willing to, to contribute to the product uh, uh, strategy. They are mainly from the uh, product management uh, domain. And um, so that's a group and it's facilitated by the product manager, by me. And what we are working on uh, for the product uh, strategy is, is based on long-term uh, strategic objectives. We also consider the market trends, um, the requirements, coming from the NDS uh, members. And we also need to, to look at the business goals of our NDS members. So what are these so-called long-term uh, strategic objectives? Okay. Um, so um, in NDS, uh, some years ago, the, the members defined these so-called uh, uh, strategic objectives that is required to uh, realize the NDS vision. And what we do in the NDS uh, the product definition group is to annually review these, object, these objectives, whether they are still applicable, they are still important, and we do the assessment based on urgency and importance. Um, and then we mark these uh, objectives that we need to uh, look at it on uh, short term and what are the objectives that uh, we can look at on, on long term. Then um, what are the market trends that we also uh, consider for the product strategy? So this is certainly that uh, the vehicles are increasingly equipped with, with uh, data connectivity. Um, that's, uh, that's quite visible for uh, most of us. It is driven also partly by the, the EU regulation, but also the trends that, that the, the map data is expected to, to be stored and processed in the cloud. That's also the uh, uh, real market trends that we see. And um, the use cases are actually evolving enormously. Uh, there are more and more map-based use casing popping up and, and uh, uh, quite challenging for us. Um, and this all leads to, let's say, the, the, the future mobility use cases. So it's not just about navigation or ADAS anymore. Uh, we need to be prepared for all kinds of future mobility use cases. Um, what are the user needs that uh, we need to consider for the product strategy? Uh, you probably hear it also from the, the panelist members. Uh, but 
one of the that, uh, the clear um, user need that we recently realized it that uh, we need to support, I mean, the NDS Live needs to support hybrid navigation use cases as well. Yesterday on the ORDF meeting and today on the, in the NDS conference, there were some pools uh, about the, the use cases where we are using uh, uh, NDS data and we, where we don't use NDS data. And the navigation was, was always on the top on the list. So that means that uh, most of the members using NDS Classic data for, for navigation, while on the other hand, navigation is, the, is in the top where they don't use uh, NDS data for the time being because of certain reason, because uh, property formats uh, uh, all around. So that's why we think there is a, a clear need to support. Uh, so the NDS Live needs to support hybrid navigation. Um, the second uh, user need that uh, just recently popped up, uh, uh, I mean, some, some months ago, and it was already demonstrated by Fabian, that's the, the, the using NDS Live uh, interface uh, in, in vehicle domain. And of course, uh, that's, that's also important uh, that we need to prepare for, for future mobility use cases. And the, the business goals of our NDS members, it was stated by uh, Philip as well in his uh, presentation when we started. So uh, the OEMs are looking for, for one platform that is, is scalable enough, starting from the ISA only uh, application till uh, higher level automated driving functionalities. And uh, the OEMs are always looking for the cost. So we need to make sure that the, uh, the solution that this standard can enable, that provide is, is, is cost efficient. Now, um, let's quickly go through the, uh, the long-term strategies in a roadmap way. So wh what are the, the, uh, these uh, long-term strategic objectives and uh, what are our plans to realize uh, in the standard, in the specification? So in the, in the first uh, half of this year, we are planning to uh, look at this ODD uh, domain. Uh, yesterday on the ORDF meeting, uh, we heard quite a lot of uh, presentation about the, the ODD domain. Um, the assessment means that we need to look at where, uh, how NDS Life can support certain use cases uh, for, for ODD ma management like uh, like load, road clearance. This is a, a, an exit use case for that. In the second half of this year, we need to look at the L4 Urban. It's a, like a robot taxi. Um, uh, robot taxi solutions are hitting the market this year in Europe as well. So it was, was uh, uh, already presented last year on the IAA in Munich. So, we need to look at it uh, in NDS product definition group. We have already started working on, on some, some L4 urban use cases, but we realized that we need to look at it in more detail, as well as uh, on, on one of the last ORDF meeting, there was a presentation about the, the so-called unsettled issues on HD map for AD and ADES uh, use cases. And we need to look at and identify whether there are any gaps in the NDS Live specification uh, that needs to be uh, uh, settled. And in the long term, we need to look at the, the uh, for uh, rural use, use cases and also the uh, uh, ODD gaps between L3 and L4. At least this is our roadmap for the automated driving L3 and L4 uh, topic. For the competitiveness of NDS Live, um, you probably remember the, the presentation from Fabian that uh, recently uh, it was solved in the, in the NDS Live specification that there is a reference between NDS Live and NDS Classic. So that's, 
that's basically the purpose of this uh, epic. We need to make sure that, that those who are using currently uh, NDS Classic solutions and would, would like to, to realize new features with NDS Live, then they have the capability of, of uh, referencing between NDS Classic and NDS Live. And uh, the second topic is the relevance of in-vehicle map data distribution standards. That's what um, uh, Fabian presented. So in the, in the product management, we need to, to ass assess this topic and, and, and look at what would be the scope of, of NDS life in that domain. Um, then going to the connected map data platform, uh, there we have the hybrid navigation. This is considered one of the most important topic uh, for this half of this year. I will talk a little bit more detailed on that uh, later on. E-mobility is there. So most of the use cases for the e-mobility is already supported by NDS Live uh, service interfaces and smart interfaces. What we need to look at is, is whether there are any gaps or any more use cases popping up that needs to be supported by the uh, specification. The new HMI technologies, this is one of the, uh, the new long-term uh, strategic ob objective that we selected uh, with higher urgency. It's basically make, uh, mainly because of the, the augmented reality use cases. Um, more and more uh, NDS members are uh, looking at how to realize certain uh, AR uh, solutions, AR use cases and requirements are popping up. So we need to have a clear view on, on uh, what will be the scope, what needs to be the scope of the NDS Live specification regarding that. Wow, the, uh, the relevance of NDS Live in the cooperative ITS services. That's a big topic. Uh, yesterday on the ORDF, uh, we had uh, some, some ITS experts also there. Um, I'm sure that there will be some, some overlap in, uh, in the future but we need to identify this, this overlap and where NDS Live can fill certain gaps in this uh, cooperative ITS uh, domain or realize uh, certain functionalities uh, even better or in optimized ways. So that's the plan with that uh, topic for the future. Regulation. Um, these are very important topics and, and uh, some of the, uh, the, the key drivers. So uh, next month uh, in June, uh, there will be nine uh, new EU regulations uh, mandated and only one of them is, is for example, ISA. So we need to, to look at it. We need to look uh, into the, the, the requirements of these uh, regulations not only the one that, that will be mandated uh, from next month on, but there are only also new regulations like the, the um, um, real-time tra real traffic information and uh, safety-related traffic information is also becoming a mandate from next year on. Um, and uh, that's why we need to uh, check or look at uh, from the, the product strategy point of view in the end, yes, yeah, live. Safety, yesterday on the ORDF, we had a, a, a workshop on the safety. It's quite important um, when it comes to NDS Classic or NDS Live, we need to, to make sure that what is the scope of, of, of safety and uh, 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 for example, when we are entering the in-vehicle domain with, with uh, NDS Live, we need to make sure that, that uh, the data that we are transferring, the protocol will be, let's say, functional safety compliant or any other safety compliant. And simulation, it's, uh, you, you remember the, the presentation from BMW, from Marco and uh, from DSpace, from Mikhail, Simulation is, 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 is a key for uh, enabling 
automated driving functionalities. And for that, those who are using NDS Classic data, uh, it's important for them to provide also a, a converter to enable uh, NDS in a simulation domain. Um, that means um, model in the loop, software in the loop, hardware in the loop, and X in the loop. So these are the domains where we are targeting with this uh, NDS Open Drive converter. Um, recently, we had to make a business case analysis on this uh, Open Drive converter. Why NDS Association is, is working on that? Why we are investing in it? into that converter and it turned out that 20% uh, uh, of the NDS members are uh, using it or they think that it creates real business value for them. But it also turned out that we need to have a clear product strategy on the NDS um, Open Drive converter. So we exactly need to know what will be in the scope of the converter and also for the, uh, for the future. Okay, um, just quickly uh, jump these, these topics because they are planned to be uh, elaborated next year or, or uh, in two years. So it's mainly related to the AI technologies, uh, L5 uh, domain, so di driverless mobility, driverless uh, uh, delivery services, um, and, and new mobility and connected cars with I IoT. So these are also on our roadmap. Uh, currently, it's on a, on a long term, uh, but we regularly uh, tracking the, the trends, and uh, that's why we need to get more uh, input from the members as well to see if we need to change somehow the, the priorities of these items. Now, let me uh, continue with the hybrid navigation. As I mentioned, this is becoming uh, important for our members. Uh, you probably remember also the statement from BMW and Mercedes-Benz also in the panelist. Um, so there is a need to, to migrate the current NDS Classic-based hybrid navigation towards to, to NDS Live-based uh, uh, solution. A quick overview on the navigation uh, systems uh, evaluation uh, evolution. So. It started with the embedded uh, navigation without connectivity that's uh, leveraging purely pre-installed database. Then uh, connected navigation means the uh, offline first that uh, um, utilizing pre-installed database, but uh, if there is a built-in uh, connectivity or tethering, then they can access certain online data like uh, online traffic and, uh, but the routing is still on board, search is still on board, but it can uh, enhance the, let's say the routing functionalities with, with uh, dynamic information. The third one is the hybrid navigation. It's called also online first. This is one of the most complicated uh, 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 concept in the hybrid navigation, because we also need to have an own offline fallback solution. If we lose uh, connectivity, uh, the expectation from the end user is still to have seamless navigation. And the last one is the online navigation that uh, utilizing purely the, the online connection and some caching mechanism, uh, but without real uh, uh, offline fallback database. Um, so the main focus will be the hybrid navigation because that's the most complex and all the use cases that we can provide for hybrid navigation will enable any kind of uh, navigation solutions on the market. From NDS Live point of view, it's important to see what are the, the map provisioning options that NDS Live can currently provide or enable for uh, navigation, for hybrid navigation purpose. So the first one is the application service interface. It's a, let's say it's a, a, a higher abstraction level functionalities to provide a calculated route or a search result. Uh, maybe also uh, guidance as a service. The second is the smart layer service interface where uh, NDS Live can provide data layers 
for visualization purpose, for onboard uh, uh, navigation functionalities. And the third one is the Smart Layer Tie Store. That's actually the fallback solution in NDS uh, Live. So these three uh, map provision options that NDS Live enables. And what we need to look at is based on hybrid navigation domains, what are already available in NDS Live, but is still missing. So it's like a gap analysis and we need to make sure what we need to focus on. M map display, we already have some functionalities for the roads. Roads uh, can be already displayed using uh, smart layer services. We also have some labeling for the roads. And uh, for those items that can be uh, distributed as a smart layer service, that can be also used uh, as a smart layer tie store as a fallback solution for that. Uh, the main, uh, so the purpose of, of this uh, uh, first half of the year is to, to focus only uh, also on the, the map display functionalities with smart layer uh, service interface that we expect uh, the service to uh, retrieve data layers for visualization purpose. Search is a, is, a, is a complex functionality because it can be retrieved as a, as a application service like, uh, um, so in, in the destination input, we just defined a, a query and where then we get back a, a search result from a search service where uh, the scope of NDS Live is to, to define at least a basic uh, application service interface for, for uh, address, POI, autocomplete, geocoding and reverse, reverse geocoding functionalities as well. While we don't expect that the search data can be delivered as a smart layer. However, we need a fallback mechanism for that. It still needs to be defined in the product definition group. It's on our roadmap. Uh, hopefully, it's, it will be ready on the second uh, half of this year. Speech uh, for speech dialogue search. Uh, again, the request from our NDS members to provide at least uh, a fo uh, offline fallback for speech, while for the application service interface, it needs to be still uh, discussed in the product definition group. Routing, as you can see, everything is green. It means that routing can be uh, distributed as an application service interface, as a standardized routing service, also for range calculation and also for track routing. We also already have a mechanism in NDS Live to provide data layers for onboard fallback routing mechanism that is, is, can be delivered by smart layer type service. And it means they can be also available as a uh, off-board uh, fallback uh, uh, database. Real-time traffic and real-time travel information services. Uh, this will be mainly elaborated by the product definition group um, in the couple of weeks. Uh, but for the, the dynamic routing that's already available on the interface. It means that uh, the route that we retrieve from the service can already include some, some delay information, for example. Guidance. First, uh, we are focusing on guidance services. It means that uh, when we request a route, we expect to retrieve also the guidance from the service. That's, uh, that's also usable for uh, online navigation as well. So that was our first uh, priority. While we also need to think about uh, as a uh, fallback solution for hybrid navigation. So when there is no uh, guidance service available, then we need to uh, use onboard database for guidance, and where that's where we need to define the the product requirements for uh, the smart layer service interface for guidance. And then finally, the uh, 
delays, age delays re related use cases. So again, this is IVI topic. So infotainment, it's not about uh, AD related uh, functionalities. Um, advanced lane guidance, uh, for that we already have a smart layer. Uh, service interface defined, and if it's required, it can be also used as an uh, offline fallback database. Others, uh, as you can see, it's also well covered in, uh, in NDS Live specification. We also have application service interface for others. So, so I also demonstrated that uh, we can do map matching in the cloud. We can do horizon generation in the cloud, but if you don't have any kind of service, uh, you have a, a, a major uh, horizon provider uh, that is utilizing onboard database, then you can request, uh, uh, the, re request uh, the required database as a smart layer service or uh, store it uh, as an offline. And for the venues, this is again uh, for uh, IVI purpose, so not, uh, not only for the uh, AVP for uh, automated valley parking, but venues can also be used for uh, infotainment purpose. And uh, we already have a standardized interface how to retrieve venues, I mean, parking garage, indoor maps as a data layers. So these are well covered, it's, it's available. So we don't have to, to deal with that, just going back, some slides, all that that uh, they are in magenta, it will be, it's already on our uh, short-term long term, short-term uh, roadmap to elaborate it. And once we uh, finalize the, the product requirements documents, we give it to the uh, engineering and they will do the specification work together with the working groups. And um, right, uh, one of the uh, final slide, this is an overview, uh, the high level roadmap of, uh, of our uh, plan for the upcoming years. And uh, as I mentioned, uh, all the discussions in ha is happening in the uh, product definition group. So uh, if you are not, representing in the product definition group, you are more than welcome. You can easily join. Uh, you can uh, do a self, uh, subscribe to the uh, product definition group uh, distribution list, or also uh, you can contact me. We have a bi-weekly course uh, where we are defining the, the uh, where we are elaborating the, these uh, epics. So, that, that was my presentation regarding the, the NDS uh, roadmap. So if, if you would like to, to see certain items a little bit, uh, uh, let's say uh, it's urgent for you or it's important for you. So please join the product definition group and, and, uh, and we can uh, have some discussion on, on that. Thank you for watching. Visit our website for news on NDS at nds-association.org.